Did you finish the little thing to combine the power orbs yet? Just put it to fish and touches on the blueprints right now, but you'll be done with it in the next couple minutes. Alright, I'll be over here waiting. Alright, you I finally have you, Average Joe, and you too, Professor Oswald. Jim, I got him. Get over here as fast as you can. <laughs> Average Joe, hold him up, I need to finish this! <laughs> ah! What's it look like I'm doing? Having a tea party? It's a dryer! No, it used to be a dryer, but now it combines things like power orbs! Alright, we're combining them! Found you! What the hell are you doing with that dryer? It's not a dryer! It's a combiner! I'm combining the power orbs! Where's the thing? Oh, look, it's done! Yay! Ooh, it's pink colors. Ultimate Power Orb! Wow. That's <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh. It's gone. Finally! After all these years, I have the Ultimate Power Orb! My powers are finally restored in full! And now. <laughs> I have summoned a comet to crash into Battle Planet at Winter's End. The resulting collision will break open a warp hole so big that it will consume all worlds into its oblivion. Who are you? How dare you not know who I am! I am Death, the alter evil, the one who is responsible for all of the pain and suffering in this universe. Since I have no face, I have done the liberty of preparing special faces for you to, you know, enhance the experience. Now then, this is my evil plan. I first enlisted the help of the assassin leader. I promised him that if he were to obey me, I would help him get world domination. And of course, the greedy fool obliged. Naturally, I told him that the prime objective was to kill Average Joe. And of course, this is what his face would look like. See, this is Anyway! Why me? Silence! Everything I touch dies! Even this light bulb! Observe. Now it's hard. Soon I knew that it was time to hide the portal in the wee gulf. I am the reason why you are here. You stand before me today as weaklings. And weaklings you are! Breathe! Then I gave the fool the battle helmet. Go after Average Joe, you twit! I told him. But at that time, the assassin leader was having doubts. He wasn't going on with the plan. He tried to get his assassins to stop with the plan. But as I calculated, he ended up on Battle Planet. Around episode 4, he began to trust me again. But the fool thought that he could take on Average Joe by himself. And of course he failed miserably. I told him he'd have to stick to the plan. The assassin leader came crawling back to me for advice yet again. I told him to pick up the sacred artifact and all the eight power orbs. Of course at the same time, I had to make sure that that stupid tree was telling stupid average Joe to gather the stupid power orbs and beat the stupid assassins and their stupid plan. I'm not stupid. 
The assassins came back with three power ups and one ancient artifact, while average Joe had gathered the other five. I knew that the final showdown was coming soon, and that one of the parties would have to gain all eight power ups. The other one, of course, would perish. Just as I planned, average Joe killed the assassin leader, and then all my powers came back! <laughs> But, but how come? What does that have to do with your powers? Well, the original Battle Planet Hero once used this very same battle helmet that I gave to the Assassin Leader to seal my powers way back when. I think he cheated. The curse on the helmet says that when one with pure heart kills the one wearing the battle helmet, my powers will be released and they will run the monk all over. Now, now I'm off to destroy the world and some puppies. <laughs> 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 <laughs>